So the agenda for today um, is that uh, to talk about why services need to change, um, what you have told us so far, because of course we've been holding these listening events over quite a long period of time. We want to talk about our model for change. We've got a number of people here this morning to talk to you about the model. Um, and to, very importantly, take questions and answers and to get to table discussions. So it, it's our intent, and as chair, I'll try and make sure this happens, that we keep the, uh, we keep the presentations on time and that the lion's share of this morning is there for you asking questions and for the table discussions. And we'll take questions at the end of... So, so what we're talking about is the presentations which we're, we're about to get into. So let's get into those. Yeah, but have, have, the, the have, the, have the questions. Yes, it is part of the STP. Okay. Is the answer to that question. Okay. I'll go back. Just a few introductions there. Sorry, I thought it was a slide for this, but there isn't. Um, there are a number of um, colleagues with us today um, to, to go through um, the, the models that I described and to answer questions that you may have, so I'll just introduce them quickly. Um, the chair of Canterbury Coastal CCG, Simon Dunn, who's uh, sitting over here uh, on my left. Um, Anna Paula Nassif, who's a lay member of the Canterbury Coastal CCG's lay member for uh, patient uh, engagement, and is also a member of the patient reference group. Uh, Paula is sitting on the table over there. Um, Michael Thomas Sam from Kent County Council, who tells me he only has one slide, so that'll be quick, won't it? Um, but there, there are staff from the CCG on the tables to, um, to help with your discussions and to answer your questions on the tables. Dr. David Hargroves from the Hospitals Trust is also sitting uh, um, to my left there. Angela Shuttler, the Deputy Chief Executive of the Hospitals Trust. Um, I should also mention Ruth Heron from the Community Trust and Dr. Matt Jones, who's an anaesthetist, because I'm an anaesthetist at the hospital house, who's hiding by the windows over there. So, um, as I said, this is uh, the format of this is that it's, uh, it's a listening event. Um, I, I need to make it clear that we're, we're not in formal consultation at this stage. This is about listening to you and about us sharing um, our thoughts as we've developed them to date um, about what the future might look like. Um, I need to make it clear that we don't have any firm proposals so this is, about, this, is, this is about telling you where we've got to um, and, and to listening to what you have to say about the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the ideas that we've developed to date. Um, I mentioned at the beginning that this is a, a Canterbury and Coastal CCG event. I think the other thing, important point to make is that um, the, the NHS organisation responsible for formally consulting on any changes uh, to NHS services locally um, is the CCG. So ultimately that responsibility lies with myself as the accountable officer and Simon Dunn as the chair of the CCG. Um, as I've mentioned in the agenda, so we'll have presentations to, to, to build the content for the discussion, but let's hope that the lion's share of the morning is spent on you asking questions and in discussion on, on your table. What is your name? Sorry. Sorry, I'm, I'm Simon Perks, Simon the accountable Perks. officer. Thank you. Simon Perks. So, um, as I mentioned before, after the presentation, there will be plenty of time um, for us to uh, for you to tell us about your views and experiences. There's a there's a listening wall somewhere. Tell me where it is. Oh, okay, it's great. We have your say. You've got post-it notes on your table. We'd really encourage you um, to to put your thoughts, ideas, questions on those post-it notes. It's a really helpful way for us to capture um, those questions and thoughts, take them away and add them uh, to the material that we'll, we'll build on today from, from what you have to say to us in, in the meeting this morning. Um, what else do I need to say? I mentioned the listening wall. Um, all, the, all the slides that you'll see this morning will be available uh, on our website. So don't worry if you see stuff um, that you're not, you're not sure about, um, you will be able to pick that up on our website. So anyway, without any further ado, um, let me move into the um, the first presentation, uh, which is going to be about um, our thoughts on how we develop local care services, um, and Simon Dunn, clinical chair for the CCG, is going to present that. Thank you, Simon.